Welcome to Grayon Math. We are also solve this problem. We have a parallelogram, a red parallelogram, and inside this overlaps a blue triangle. And we are to find the area of the blue region. Okay, so first thing that we have to notice is that this is a parallelogram and this length is actually 8. This is 8. And from that, we can actually get this height, this height, this dimension. In this dimension, we can say that we can compare this larger triangle, this one, this the largest blue, versus this smaller blue. Okay, so comparing, we have the total hypotenuse is actually 15 because of 8 plus 7. So we have 8 plus 7 over the unknown length. Let's say that it is x. And the smaller right triangle, 7 over 4. So we have 15 over x is equal to 7 over 4. So we have x is equal to 15 times 4 over 7. So we have x is equal to 60 over 7 units. Okay, so next thing is we need to find this length. And this length is actually a side of this smaller right triangle and we can get that length by Pythagorean theorem of course so we have let's say that this is y so we have y is equal to the square root of 7 square minus 4 square so y is equal to square root of 49 minus 16 49 minus 16 is 33 so, y is equal to the square root of 33. Okay, so next thing is we need to get this length. This is actually the base of the larger right triangle. Let's call this as A. So, we have A over 60 over 7. It is equal to this square root of 33 over 4. Okay. So simplifying the left hand side, we have 7a over 60. 7a over 60 is equal to square root of 33 over 4. So we have A is equal to 60 over 7 times square root of 33 over 4. Or if we simplify further, we have 15. So 15. So A is equal to 15 square root of 33 over 7 units okay so now for the final step we are now ready to find the area of blue region so area is simply equal to one half times the base which is 15 square root of 33 over 7 times the height which is 60 over 7 so if we simplify this we have 60 over 2 which is 30 so 30 times 15 is equal to 450 times square root of 33 all over 49 
square unix. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.